Okay, welcome to uh, the next second series of Let's Play Angband. This is version 3.4.1, which technically isn't out by the time I'm recording this, but um, it, it does exist. Uh, you could download it and compile it off of GitHub if you wanted to. Um, but it, we're just having some issues as usual with, with getting the website up to date. So, But it'll be out in the next couple days. Anyway, so let's, let's start it up. And we're going to be playing... Um, well, let's see. First, let's see our gender. Uh, looks like we're male again. And uh, the character that people seem to recommend is uh, a gnome mage. So gnomes uh, have intrinsic resist paralysis, and they also can identify, I think, wands and rods upon pickup, which is nice, but not necessarily that useful of a trait. Uh, the resist paralysis is actually pretty nice. Um, they're pretty, they're very stealthy, but the nice thing about them is they have a huge bonus to using magic devices. Um, and that's going to be pretty pretty useful for our mage. We're going to get a lot of a lot of stuff out of that. They're pretty horrible with uh, <laughs> with melee and and uh, this these shooting and throwing are pretty mediocre also. Um, so it, we're going to be using a lot of spells this game because uh, we're going to be playing a no mage. So mages, we're going to have a huge strength penalty, con penalty, charisma penalty, a nice bonus to int. Um, but the mages, I think, are the most challenging characters, um, and uh, so I, I often die a lot with them, but we'll see how well we do. So no mage, um, what do I want? Do I want to do it? Yeah, I'm probably going to throw some points out of decks. Um, let's see, I do I had six? Let's see. Uh, let's see, I'd rather give myself another point of int and four points of con. I think that's what we're going to do for the starting stats and we're just because we're not going to use much melee at all so having the, the decks is really useful for melee but that's not going to happen. Uh, oh shoot I forgot to do uh, we'll, we'll go back and do that again. Um, the birth options. So we'll be playing with rand arts um, and we'll be playing with this option which I haven't tested very much but we're going to be playing with tiles so uh, this is going to shrink the the visible and how far things can can breathe on you. We're still going to have off-screen issues, but it's not going to be as bad. And as usual, I'm going to have don't uh, no connect to stairs and zero gold. Uh, maybe later we'll try an, another challenge or something. But this is good enough for now. Um, okay, so let's go back. It it deleted my my changes. So let's go fix that. Oops. Okay, and we're ready to go. So I have to uh, pick a a name test mage was <laughs> was my previous name when I was just playing around with it. So no, no one suggested a name. So I asked my fiance to come with up with one, and she came up with a uh, Fizzlebert. So I don't know if this is a reference for something that I don't know, but that's going to be our name. Okay, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to go. Um, so I actually restarted the game a couple times because <laughs> the first the first th few times there were no <laughs> Magic Book ones in the shop, which I definitely need. Uh, we're going to buy Magic Book 1, and we're actually going to buy Magic Book 2 right off the bat. We'll be using this, both of these, pretty heavily. Um, and like right away, we're going to gain Magic Missile. It's going to be our first spell. It's going to be how we're going to do damage. And then we do need a weapon, so we're going to go buy one, buy a dagger. Uh, and the other thing we're going to need is Word of Recall Scroll. And we have 211 more gold, so we'll buy some phase door, maybe like four or so. Um, and then as far as the rest of the stuff, we well, we definitely need some torches, so we'll get well, three of those, probably be enough. We'll find some more, and we'll get some food also, probably four of those, probably enough for that. And then as far as the other stuff we're going to want, it's my home. Oh, the other thing, I, you know what, I should probably do this now. Um, I should. I need to change... Make the tiles just a little bit smaller so I can see just a little bit more. I still don't have the full view. I only have, I think, seven squares because I have a small monitor. But that's that's good enough. I wanted to get a scroll of blessing, but they don't have any. We're going to go for potions of heroism instead. Um, we'll get, I don't know, two of them. This is going to, if we get stuck and we're out of, out of mana, we're going to need to uh, use those. Might as well put on that dagger. Um, and... With the less the re the rest of our remaining money, there's no cure light wounds, so we won't be buying that unfortunately. Uh, I guess we'll buy one more phase door. 
I'm gonna get five of those and we'll buy flasks of oil. I mean, I tried throwing a bunch of them in a test game and I, it wasn't really helpful, but I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot again. Okay, so, well, I need to wield my torch. So one of the problems with mages, especially early in the game, I didn't need to buy the dagger, there's one right there, is that they run out of they want to run out of magic pretty pretty quickly, and you see, like I could have I could have died right there if I missed that that fruit bat twice, um, and I you know I miss I failed casting the spell twice and then kept on missing it in combat. It could have killed me. I only have eight hit points, and yeah, it's it's pretty easy to die. Let's let's put the new dagger on. Maybe it's better than zero zero. Um, sometimes you can't survive long enough to get a weapon, so it's a good idea to buy one in town. But if you're playing like Maybe like, uh, I should get that mouse out of the way. If you're playing like a warrior or something, then <laughs> sometimes you can get by without a weapon, although I don't know why you'd ever want to. Okay, so we're going to stay on this level until we get probably to level 3. Usually I don't like doing that. I prefer to dive, but it's it's going to take us a while. And, I'm gonna, and you see I'm going to be killing things with spells, and I'm going to be resting a lot. And that's just gonna, that's just going to be the way things go. Um, we killed the fruit bat, luckily. And see, I missed this blizzard, so now, now we're going to need to... Well, we'll try we'll try battling it with our dagger, but you can see it's <laughs> I, I I might die, so we're gonna run. We're gonna I have uh, some maybe we'll try throwing that. Okay, I killed it with with, with my flask of oil, so those did already come in useful. Um, let's continue. Oh, there's a shield that could be helpful. Let's get that. Oh, I should see this dagger is plus zero plus zero. Hazy potion, copper. Let's go get both of those. So these are the new tiles by, by Shockbolt. They're not their full size, and because I'm recording probably with a little busted resolution, you're not going to see really their full glory. But they're very nice. They're they're pretty beautiful tiles. Uh, and they go up to 64 by 64. And some jackals spawned in this room, which kind of pisses me off, because <laughs> killing a whole bunch of jackals is going to take a while. Um, but whatever, we'll do it. I'm just going to kill two and then go back here. Oh, I got to level two and I got a really good roll for my hit points. Hit points are up to 16. That's probably that's the best roll I could have gotten. I got a roll of eight of eight. And that's really nice. Um, and now you can see I've doubled my spell points four. I want to get to six. Four spell points is really the minimum you need to kill one of the dogs on level two. And one of my test games I died because I didn't have enough spell points and I failed the spell twice. And then I tried to... Uh, and I ran out of phase door until it just mauled me to death. It was it wasn't so much fun. Okay, so we've gotten rid of these jackals. So at least they were useful in getting me to level two. We want to get to level uh we want to get to level three, get that six spell points, and then we'll we'll descend. It doesn't take very oh, we can also gain a new spell. So let's do that. Let's gain detect monsters. And we're gonna cast it right away. It's gonna give us four experience to cast that. And we might we might just gain another spell also and cast it. Let's see, what else can we get? Uh, light area probably will gain light area is more useful than face door right now so we'll get that and then we'll probably cast it at some point just for the just for the experience okay uh, we could probably kill a mouse right yeah and there's a robe let's go grab that uh, I wonder if I can kill it with light area no I can't but that gave me some more some more points. Now only 11 until the next level. Snake. I see I don't even know what the tiles are. But I have to look at the uh, <laughs> I have to look at the map to find out. Um, and and this is it's hard for me to see things on the map also. I'm just not used to it. So the nice thing about gnomes I could just go up and start mauling this floating eye. It can't do anything to me because uh, it's only attack really is to paralyze and if it can't paralyze you then I can't do this. The real danger of them is that you come around a corner and you run into one of those without seeing it in advance. Or now, even with uh, the one torch, if you're playing a human or something without infravision, you could just run into one. And they'll paralyze you, and then something like a crow can sneak up behind you and just peck you to death. Um, that's happened to me a couple times. I've, I've died to... I've tied to floating eyes before that have uh, paralyzed me and something else came and killed me. Or paralyzation traps can do the same thing if you're unlucky. So, usually those things aren't a problem, but every once in a while you get just that bad situation. Okay, so we're almost, we got some, we got six violet speckled potions. So anything time you get something like potions in that size, there's a very good chance they're cure light wounds, uh, or some other cure wounds if you're a little deeper in the dungeon. 
So we'll we'll try those out in a, as soon as we're injured uh, and in a safe place. The other the other thing that they could be is um, they could be like confusion sometimes or uh, sleep or paral which are essentially paralysis and those can be a little dangerous. But they also drop in, in sizes in packs of six this early in the in the in the game. It's probably a door door up there. Uh, nothing there. Okay, so where where else can we go? Guess we can go out that way. Yeah, it looks like we've we've mapped this whole area out. So we'll why don't we just go this way? I probably could go down to level two, but it's okay. We can we can we can explore level one a little more. Uh, small kobold. Let's kill him. And 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 I, I'm gonna actually maybe I should do this now. Um, just so I can show you how it's done. So you can you can set key maps, and I'm gonna set a key map. I just need to figure something out. Yeah, okay. So I, I know what I want now. So I'm gonna set a key map for a magic missile. So what I'm gonna do is set a key map, um, create a key map. The key is gonna be F1, and the key map I'm gonna use is M1A, which casts magic missile, and then star, which means target, and then hit this to be done. Yes. Key map added. Okay, so now pen key maps to a file. There we go. And escape, escape. So now if I press F1, I should be able to fire a magic missile and it should do the targeting also automatically for me. So we'll try that out right now. There we go. So that'll save me some, some key presses, but really not much. It's just a convenience issue. Uh, looks like, okay, so it, I, at least I sent it running. These snakes aren't as dangerous because they uh, they they move slowly. So even if they turn, as you can see, I'm I'm trying to hit it and I'm just doing no damage to it. And but but you if you oh I got another really good hit point level. This is really nice. Two two rolls of eight. That's that's really spectacular. Um, but you can you can run away from them pretty easily. So now now we're healed up and we're probably ready. Oh I forgot to um. I wanted to try those potions. I guess we'll do it on the next level. So let's go down level two, and now now we can go down a little brisker pace. Six six health should be should be enough. Um, okay, let's see what's around here. Cave spiders. Yeah, those are the one things I, I can't really fight at this stage yet. And there's a lot of them. I don't like spiders too, so those those images are a little scary. Uh, we could do we can gain another spell, which we're gonna gain. Let's gain stinking uh, stinking cloud or fine. Uh, might as well gain this. That's probably probably a little more useful right now. I failed it though. I want to cast it right away. I got six points for casting it. Um, and then this way I don't run into any traps. Can actually be pretty deadly. I think that the, my character that died to the hound actually died from falling in a trap while I was getting chased by the hound. It was a little a little humorous, but uh, okay. Some stuff over here. I just have to be careful that those uh, those guys don't come after me. Um, Kobo, the those those guys that can awaken and then oh shoot it's moving a little faster than I would like. Okay, got wooden torch. Uh, how many points would I get for killing this jelly? Six point six seven. That's worth it. Two, three. I don't have enough. Rest. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, so the spiders are over in this corridor. So I don't want to go there. I don't know if I have another choice though. Let's see exactly where they are. They're down there a little bit. So the, luckily they're not in a room. They're in a corridor. So I might be able to kill them one at a time. Tricks in pain. Scream of agony. Okay. Let's go kill some more. I'm going to get to... There we go. At level four. Um, and this time I got a crappy roll. You can't, can't all be winners. I only got one point on that one. Um, tricks feebly. Scream of agony. So the scream of agony means it dies. So I don't want to leave any of them alive. Okay, so this is how many squares away from me? It doesn't say. Oh yeah, there it goes. Nine east. So I can hit two more. I only have a range of ten. Jerks in pain. Scream of agony. Scream of agony. Okay. Now we'll go kill some more. How many are there left? So if these guys wake up and start chasing after me, I'll probably be probably be pretty dead. So Oop, okay, so I killed them all that I could get to. Uh, how to get to the other ones is a little more difficult. One option is to wake them up. I don't have Stinking Cloud. Let's get Stinking Cloud. 
So I can wake them up with Stinking Cloud. And so, so two of them now are awake. So yeah, he's going to come after me. But I, I have enough that I can kill him. And then the other one... Three asleep. So this guy's awake. Yeah, so he should come after me. Maybe not. Oh, there they are. Okay. And I might be able just to kill these guys. Okay. Okay, so the spiders are all dead. And they gave me level 5. Um, so let's gain some more things. Gain, um, oh, I guess lightning bolt. But we don't really have enough to cast that one. What else here? So we, could, we could gain phase door also. Frost bolt is the one I want. That's level 7. So we're at level 5. That means we shouldn't be sitting around level 2 much longer. So we'll just go dive right away. We'll kill anything we can. Might as well. Wow, it took a lot to kill that, kill that guy. Um, at some point, uh, this magic missile will be 3d4. I think maybe level 6 it becomes 3d4. That will be pretty nice. Uh, and I'm already up to 10 spell points. Okay, I'm going to cast... Oh, there's a kobold. I'm going to cast a uh, phase door just for the just for the experience. I'll be doing that a lot. Uh, usually I don't bother getting experience this way, but with the mage you actually get a decent amount of experience. You get a decent amount of spells that you can get, so so it's worth it. Especially a, a no mage, there's not really... Do I, do I know where stairs are? Um, hmm. No, it doesn't look like I do. Okay, so well, let's cast... Uh, well, I don't know. Let's just keep on going this way, I guess. We'll dig through the tunnel. Find out what's on the other side first. Ha ha ha, a bunch of cave spiders. They're all asleep, though. So, uh-oh. Now they're awake, so this isn't good. Uh-oh, I might die. Eek. Run, 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 run. Okay, behind the door. I don't think they can get through the doors. Um, let's rest, like, five turns. Maybe five more. I want to get uh, to a point where I can drink one of these potions. Slime mold juice. Oh, well, <laughs> that was a pretty useless potion to get. Okay, uh, we can try also hazy potion. Berserk strength. Uh, not really what I what I go for as a mage. We'll just sleep that one off. Um, so I don't know. Should I try and kill the rest of the spiders? How many are there? Two? Four? Four? Well, I don't know. I could try. I could cast lightning bolt on them. Several screams of agony. I just killed them all, and I got to level six. Um, can't learn frost bolt yet. That's level seven. So, oh, there's wait. There's one left. I guess I didn't kill them all. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, I may I may not have been able to reach them all. I didn't realize that. Uh, okay, we could disarm that. Oh, poisoned. No longer poisoned. Well, let's rest that off. Oh, I have to rest off the graze also. I have no healing, I just realized, because I didn't get <laughs> Cure Light Wounds, so... It's not really the best place to be in, but... Okay, so downstairs, right there. Grip. Let's go kill Grip also, even though he doesn't give me any bonuses at this point. Where is he? Can't find him. He's all the way over there. Well, I don't know, maybe we'll kill him. He's a little far away. Kill the frog. Okay, uh, I don't know. Can we get to grip? Oh, Fang's also around. Eh, I don't know. There's a lot of crap up there. It's probably not worth it. Let's just rest up and go down the stairs. Okay. Uh, oh, and <laughs> grip met me down here. So let's go kill grip. Two, three. Oh, I forgot that I, uh, Keep on doing the same thing I did. So it took it took four to kill him, and I failed one. So five really. Okay, let's see what's around here. Two apprentices. I have to be careful. They'll come out and they they can come out and hurt me. Up oh, there comes one. I think I have enough to to take him out. Okay. Ooh, and he dropped some money. Yeah, it should be enough to take him out also. They also dropped money. Money's good. Oh, I forgot to uh, check for. Traps. Actually, that was a ton of money. Um, so that's that's a, l a lot of money for this stage. I can probably go back to uh, back to town and get some stuff, but I don't know. It's more fun to to get stuff in the dungeon, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I forgot what else was around here. That's okay. Let's find out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, more spiders. How nice. 
uh, Yeek, and I, Kobold Shaman. Shamans are, are, are fun to kill. I really want to find more stairs. Oh, that's that's the shaman. He's awake. I think I just killed him. Got new scrolls. Potion, mushrooms, lots of stuff. Money. What's over this way? Nothing. Oh, convenient. What about stairs? Do I know where stairs are? Oh, I, I needed to go up. Well, looks like we're going to be exploring a little. At least coming back to our... Maybe there's some stairs up here that I can find. Uh, I better kill these guys. We'll stinking cloud them. Apprentice fires a magic missile. I'll stinking cloud them again. Oh, failed. That's a shame. I could have gotten them all. Well, maybe I can still get them all if I cast that. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, I'm low on health. The crow. Getting hungry. Uh, okay, I wanna I wanna read some of these things. All this crap that I have. Oh, light blue potions, six of them again. So there's a good chance that that's something nice. Okay, do I know where stairs are now? Yes, there's stairs right up there. So we can go there. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's rest here and let's actually read some of these scrolls. What did I get? Trap detection. Those are kind of useless. Um, because I have the spell, it's pretty cheap. Let's get rid of that. We'll squelch it. Um, let's see, what is this? Scrolls of Darkness. Let's light that room back up. Uh, let's see, I can get rid of Scrolls of Darkness too. And read this other one. What is that one? Treasure Detection. Those are actually useful. But it doesn't look like I see very... I don't see, I, yeah, I didn't find anything. And then this last one, which is light, which is a little useless also. And I guess I could eat a mushroom. Uh, no, I'll wait for the mushrooms. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.